Hey, what's up guys? This is Paul, the auto technician from Paul Lunch Autos Garage. And today we're going to talk about an automotive relay, uh, particularly a uh, five pin relay, and see the amazing work the relay does. Now, this was one of the strategy that manufacturers had when they wanted to make circuit that runs with convenience and efficiency, make the electrical system of a car less complicated, reduce the, the length and the amount of wires they are using on the circuit, and in the process, reducing the overall weight of the vehicle, making your vehicle perform better and more powerful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, explore the schematics that I've made here. And from that point on, we're going to explore the practical part of it. And then you'll have the basic understanding of how this uh, relay works. The particular circuit we're going to work on today is um, the headlight circuit. It's a... It's a five pin relay, it controls the headlight circuits. Uh, we have two positions. We have the default position whereby when the relay is passive or in, in its resting state, we have a constant supply of uh, power from the power source to the positive side of the headlight. And then um, the ground is provided by the headlight switch and it switches that light on the, the low beam. That's the low beam function of the headlight. And now the, when you want to switch the high beam, the relay is grounded by the combination switch and that provides the activation to that relay and the switch flips from the default position, uh, that's the pin 87A, to the pin 87 active position. Now when the pin 87 active position gets activated, power, flow, power flows from the battery source all the way to the high beam side of the headlight and the high beams are activated. So this relay, it has five pins. Uh, we have pin 30, we have pin 87A, we have pin 87, pin 87A being the passive uh, position of the relay or the default position of the relay, pin 87 being the active position. We have pin uh, 85 and 86. Now pin 85 can be power supply, pin 86 can be ground or, the, or it can be vice versa. Okay, all right, we're also going to apply the, the Ohm's law uh, on our little setup right here, and it will make you understand more basic fundamentals about electrical circuits. Now, one thing that I know about Ohm's law is that it said that the voltage across a conductor is uh, directly proportional to the current flowing through it, provided the physical conditions and temperature remains constant. So right now, because uh, we're working on these headlight circuits and these uh, headlight bulbs, they pull high current, high amounts of current. Manufacturers devised a way that uh, when uh, you switch the high beam on, the low beam goes off, right? And when you switch the high beam off and, and let the low beam comes back on, the reason being they want to protect the circuits. They don't want this circuit to pull high current or high amperage. Because I've seen one bulb right here, it's a... Uh, ranges between 90 and 100 watts. And uh, maybe 90 watts is for the low beam, 100 watts is for the high beam. So tell me if both beams are on at the same time, the low and the high beam, that thing will pull high current and it might even cause a shutdown on your vehicle, the shutdown of the electrical system of your vehicle. So to avoid this uh, risk, manufacturers came up uh, with this five pin relay so that they can control both circuits at the same time. Okay, when the circuit is in rest position, when the circuit is in rest position, we have a constant power flow from the power source all the way through pin 30, then pin 87A, and to the low side of the, the headlights. Okay, then when you switch the headlights on with a combination switch, you ground the ground side of the headlight. Now, from that point on, if you want to activate that high beam and you still use the headlight switch, you ground the relay, right? The relay has that uh, power supply on pin 85 or pin 86. It can be either. You ground the relay, and then when grounding, you ground the relay, and now the switch flips from the default pin 87A position to pin 87 active position, and in that process, the high beam is switched on and the low beam switches off, okay? All right, so this is my schematic right here. And we have the power source here. This is the ground to the chassis. We have the high beam uh, switch 
and we have the low beam switch this is my relay the relay and uh, fuse compartment or the relay and fuse box and uh, this is my low beam and the high beam and you can see right now essentially the basic functionality of most switches of an electrical system is grounding the circuits okay they provide the ground uh, thereby facilitating a complete path of uh, power to ground okay right okay so right now this is how it works this is my switch here i've already switched the so for the sake of uh, simplifying this uh, demonstration we have the combination switch here and it has a, it's a four stage combination switch or it has four functions we have the parking function the low beam function the high beam function and the pass function the pass function is whereby you are driving maybe on the right side of the road or the highway and you want to get to the left side okay and as you know there's oncoming traffic coming from the opposite side so what happens is that uh, it's a, this pass uh, functionality is a momentary function whereby you momentarily uh, pull the the combination switch momentarily pull it and then uh, the high beam blinks to the oncoming traffic to alert the driver that you want to pass or you want to do something it's a message uh, it's a kind of a, it's a form of communication to the other driver so what happens they allow you to pass and that this is the function of that uh, the pass uh, function of that uh, combination switch but right now we don't have the pass function right here because uh, we need an extra switch and i don't have it i only have limited switches only two switches so power flows to these fuses right here uh, these are 15 amp fuse for the high beam and a 15 amp fuse for the low beam power flows from the battery source we have the ignition switch right here which is optional on this uh, diagram it comes to pin 80 it supplies the constant supply to pin 30 here and since this switch is normally closed this pin 87a switch of the relay is normally closed power is gonna flow all the way to the low beam of the headlight so now when I switch the headlight on here I connect these two contacts here and we provide a path to ground and the headlight uh, beams okay the headlight switches on so now when I switch the high beam on this is the exciting part of it when I switch the high beam on right like this I activate this relay here you see it has the supply here the one that I told you on pin 85 so I activate I ground it this relay gate activated uh, an electromagnetic current is activated on this coil and that electromagnetic current has that pressure the current pressure pushes this switch from the default pin 87 position to flip and come to pin 87 active position and my high beam is activated and the low beam is switched off why because we've broken the contact right here so this is kind of an inverse situation whereby when the relay is in the default position it's supplying power to the low beam side when you switch on the high position it flips and supplies power to the active high beam side okay i want to come to these headlights right here these bulbs and as you can see if we take a look at one here we have the specifications uh, it's 12 volt uh, 100 to 90 watts of power okay the, the, the power supply the voltage is 12 volts and the power output is 100 to 90 watts and i'm thinking that 100 is for the high beam and uh, 90 is for the low beam okay that's my own thinking <laughs> right so um if we do some little basic uh, application of ohm's law here one way of finding uh, if you want to find the current that is flowing through the circuit by applying ohm's law you take the power that's the watts uh, the wattage unit you divide by the voltage supplying that circuit okay so for our example here it's 90 watts this is the low beam 90 watts divided by 12 is 7.5 amps okay this is now the the low beam side our low beam side okay and for our high beam So when you divide 100 by 12, uh, 100 watts by 12 volts, 
you'll get 8.3 amps of current and when you round it off it becomes 8 amps okay this is now my high beam circuits this is my high beam circuit right okay guys now it's time for our demonstration uh, this switch has uh, broken you can see it's broken right now it's incapable of uh, doing anything or performing any task so what I did I did some improvisation with this micro switch right here okay so this is the ground side for the low beam this micro switch you see right here so when I press it my low beam is activated and now this is my high beam this one here so we're going to do some uh, little bit of simulation and I'm going to connect these two points here because the purpose of this switch is to connect this contact with this one here. So if I connect both of them right here, you can see my lighter, my, my, my low beam circuit is on. And now if I come here and simulate the high beam, you can see it's changing, okay? So this is my relay here clicking. Now the high beam has been activated and when I release it, the low beam continues on. Uh, okay guys, you've seen the little experiment that we've done right there. Uh, we first of all went through the schematics part of it and then after that one we did the practical test. And uh, as you can see, I told you that brilliant idea and strategy manufacturers had to make sure that the electrical systems of a vehicle is safe and to avoid that uh, massive shutdown on some basic uh, systems on the electrical system of your car they designed this 5-pin relay to work on circuits like uh, the lighting circuit uh, you can control two circuits at the same time we've seen the kind of convenience that we achieve uh, from that little strategy so thank you very much for watching this video uh, if, you, if it's your first time on this channel Kindly hit the subscribe button, uh, like this video, share it, and I'll see you on the next one.